Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl Tiffany, and today this is a makeup tutorial. So, if you want to see this video, please keep watching. So, first and foremost, I moisturize with palms all the time. You can get palms from any drugstore, really, but I got mine from Walmart. Oh. So at this clip, I will be trying to do a look I did before because I know some people wanted me to do a tutorial on it. So I'm going to try to do it as like the look as possible. So at this clip, you see me putting the Crayon Case Chalk Dust Setting Powder on my eyebrows and my smile lines and sometimes in my T-zone. My eyebrows are like sometimes a hit and miss. Sometimes they are perfect, sometimes they are not. But I will do a eyebrow tutorial if you all will want that. I do my eyebrows and then I do my base, which my base is the Tarte Concealer. And then I also use foundation that's my skin color at the top. So I did one eye off camera to see how it was gonna go and it went off very well. So let's get into everything I did. So y'all see that I am going into the Crayon Case Wash Me Buzz Palette in that berry shade. And I just put it in the crease and I did like a padding and swiping and circle motion very gently. And I kept doing that until it was like at the, the height that I wanted to be. As you know, I am hooded eyes, so I have to cut my crease higher than normal. So now I'm using the Bestie Game palette. It is the KTWA palette. And I am going into it with that pink shade at the top of the crease shade. just going back into the cranberry shade and I'm just applying more on it so it can be a little more deeper because I feel like adding that pink it kind of went away a little so I'm just basically mixing them together so they can be seamless and now I'm going to go into it with the black in the bestie game palette to make it more darker and more deeper <laughs> So now I'm just like taking a clean brush and just blending it all together so it can just be seamless and no harsh lines because that's how you should want it you guys, no harsh lines. <laughs> So now I'm using my P. Louise Base in Zero in the Crayon Case Flat Concealer Brush. And what I do is I put some at my lid and then I look up and that shows me like directly where to cut my crease. Like this is so easy to do. I've been doing it for like a long time and it's like the easiest method ever to cut your crease. So now I'm just adding the base and then I'm going to use just like a flat C brush and like tap it so it can dry so I can start putting colors and eyeshadow on it. So now I'm going back into the, the crayon case and I'm just adding the eyeshadow that I used in my crease and in my transition. So now I'm going to use the crayon case pigments in Acknowledge Me and Bubble Bath and I'm just going to put those on the lids of my crease. So now 
I'm going to add the pink from the Best of Gang palette and just put that on my crease before I put the crayon cake pigment on top. <laughs> to apply my glitter I got this idea from Beats by Deb and I have been doing it ever since because the glitter really sticks when you're doing this method and I just love doing it so I am also using the glitter from Bella's Cosmetics so if you haven't purchased from Bella Cosmetics please do she has some bomb glitter and I also love her products too and I'm trying to get on her PR team too <laughs> going to do a wing with the wet and wild eyeliner and those are my primers that I use and I also use the calamari lotion because I do have combination skin <laughs> So y'all, my camera hair died. So this is the finished look of the look. I just wanted to make sure I got the eyes kind of. So I hope I get everything to do with the eyes so you can see what I done. But I like this eye better than this. Cause I don't know if y'all can see, but this eye is higher. Like I cut this crease way higher than this one. And I don't know, you can't really notice it. But I noticed it because I did it. So, it's a uh-uh. I just know next time. Yeah, this is the finished look of this look. I hope y'all like this tutorial. And I will see you in my next video. Peace. And...